The table here shows the working pressure ratings for tubing for ASME 31.3 and the tools required to make up the connector. Installation with fast tool. The first step in the installation is tube cutting. To ensure a good joint, the tube must be cut off square. This can be accomplished with either a tube cutter or hacksaw. However, the figures here show the differences in tubing cut with a tube cutter and a hacksaw. The next step in the installation is deburring the tube end. The burrs formed by either the tube cutter or hacksaw must be removed prior to assembly to prevent those burrs from eventually damaging the system. The deburring can be done either a file or Parker's specially designed, index deburring tool. This tool can be used to deburr both the inner and outer diameter of tubing. The next step in the installation is tube marking. The tube marker is a mandatory part of the process to properly assemble Fastite. It ensures adequate tube insertion and aids with inspecting for correct assembly. Proper tube insertion is essential for proper functioning of Fastite. Select correct tube marker. Pick up prepared tubing. Observe the inspection holes. Insert tube into tube marker. Tube should rest against the bottom of bore. While holding tube, push and twist tube marker 360 degrees. After twisting remove the tube marker. Once the marker is removed the two lines are easily visible. The fast tool can be fitted with a rubber boot for convenient gripping during installation. Place and slide the supplied rubber boot onto the fast tool. Once the rubber boot is inserted, install the retaining cap screws, which will secure the boot with fast tool. Selection of fast tool inserts. Quick and easy interchangeable tooling inserts allows the fast tool to install connectors from sizes 1 4 to 5 8 inches. The insert selected is determined by the type of connector to be used and the size of the tubing. There are two inserts to select. All inserts are etched with the part number and are color coded as shown here. For 3 8 inch straight fitting, use black inserts as shown here. The final step is to install the connector. Insert the tubing into the connector ends. After inserting, the two lines should not be visible. This ensures adequate tube insertion prior to assembly. If a line is visible, it is an indication that either the tube is not at the bottom of the bore in the body of the connector, or the tube was marked incorrectly. After the successful insertion of the tube, place the assembly into the jaws of the fast tool. When securely placed activate the hydraulic pump. As the connector color approaches the connector body, it is normal for connector colors will come together at different rates. When the metal-to-metal -metal contact is achieved, stop actuating the pump. After the successful installation, only one line should be visible on each end of the connection. Installation with bench tool. Fast type connector installation using bench tool is very similar to the fast tool. Selection of bench tool inserts. Ensure that insert and jaw are free from damage and foreign bodies. Slide the insert into jaw. Ensure the inserts are properly installed with correct orientation into the counter bore and secured with three socket head bolts provided. The bolts should be tightened using Allen wrench. Once installed, retain the insert with the small socket cap screw provided and tighten it by Allen wrench. The final step is to install the connector. Insert the tubing into the connector ends. After inserting the two lines should not be visible. This ensures adequate tube insertion prior to assembly. If a line is visible, it is an indication that either the tube is not at the bottom of the bore in the body of the connector or the tube was marked incorrectly. After the successful insertion of the tube, place the assembly into the jaws of the bench tool. Once securely placed, activate the hydraulic pump. As the connector collar approaches the connector body, the pressure on the gauge will increase. It is normal for connector collars will come together at different rates. When the metal-to-metal -metal contact is achieved, stop actuating the pump. 
After the successful installation, only one line should be visible on each end of the connection. Tool Selection and Maintenance The PH16 tool is recommended for the following sizes of fast eye connectors only. Half inch, 5 8 inch, 3 4 inch, 1 inch. A fast eye permanent connector can be a union straight, elbow, T or cross. Regular maintenance is required for proper functioning of the tool. Inspect the hoses and connections of the tool and the pump. Ensure proper jaw alignment prior to use of the bench tool. Ensure the hose connections are connected to the tool and pump with the use of a hose grips to avoid hose fitting disconnection. Ensure sufficient oil in the pump during operation.